Hey, good afternoon. Uh, sunny day in Michigan. Jason from Auto Appraise 1968 Dodge Charger two door hardtop XP29H car. Uh, fender tag is present. Car is set up as a uh, 383 automatic car. Got big old headers on it, making it very difficult to get the. Uh, to ascertain any numbers. Let's climb under since I got it jacked up before we go on a test drive. The front brakes have been upgraded to disc. Uh, some of the front end components were serviced when that was done. I crawled under here and got a lot of still photos for the current purchaser who ordered this inspection. Uh, the entire underbody has been undercoated in a textured type of uh, rubberized undercoating, including the uh, K-frame. Uh, suspension, floors, wheel tubs, etc. Car's got an aftermarket, obviously, uh, oil pan uh, set up. Uh, got a little bit of uh, seepage out the uh, rear main and or transmission. Difficult to tell where that's coming from. Some pitting in the coating on the exhaust. We'll uh, detail the number situation later, but safe to say we were unable to ascertain a... a any block or right side transmission uh, numbers on this unit. Late 68 cars are uh, uh, technically not stamped in the same area 69's are as you know of course. So we'll move back through the underbody of the car and uh, address the numbers later. Uh, these front fender extensions and this uh, valance could stand to be tightened up on both sides little bit of movement when the car is idling. Yeah, that's that's good. We'll cover uh, some more of the um, bodywork and paintwork a little later on. I so many fucking people call me. I don't know. Maybe it's wrong. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, I have his number though. So under here, the pinch weld, uh, the pinch welds look really uh, good and solid. Uh, no evidence of separation there. This is the overlap seam at the quarter panel on the rocker. There we go. That lights up a little better. A little bit of uh, deterioration and repair in there, and then the same with the uh, wheel splash area on both sides. Unitized rails uh, look like they're pretty good shape, uh, both uh, front and rear uh, center, that is. Uh, still got to get it in to get a look at the back of the uh, rails. 727. And the other floor pan doesn't appear to have any, the uh, other side of the floor pan does not appear to have any sections cut into it or any uh, unsightly repairs that I could see. Uh, no tears in the die holes to speak of, just some general age and seepage present. Quick look at the rest of the suspension before I let the jack down. Everything is pretty duplicated side to side. Uh, no evidence of a front pan seal leak. Uh, frame rail structure on both sides. 
extending up to the front bumper area. It uh, it looks stable. It doesn't look like it's ever been um, hit. No evidence of a prior collision. Ball joint boots uh, seem to be in good shape. Uh, some uh, evidence of deterioration in the stabilizer link uh, bushings. Uh, sway bar bushings are decent. Uh, stabilizer bushings are, are decent. MIDI torque starter added. Front bumper seems to fit the body uh, nicely. Uh, some patina noted. A little bit of uh, light damage to the uh, headlight bezel and headlight panel in the corner. Headlights are operating and flipping up. Uh, both inner bright light bulbs need to be changed. Low beam is uh, out, or the high, high beam is out. Uh, getting under the back side of the vehicle. The uh, underbody, uh, consistent with the rest of the body, has been uh, coated in a, a black uh, rubberized texture that's uh, pretty hard, pretty hardened up. Uh, no evidence of a tear. Oops, I'm not pointing at my fingers right. No evidence of a tear or any elongations. No evidence of any crunching in the uh, uh, frame rail boxes and the extensions here don't look like they've been damaged. This uh, quarter panel has been rolled under and uh, has had some uh, filler work and repair work done, no doubt, over the years. <clears throat> Up inside, uh, the quarter panel splash. No evidence of uh, anything being changed up there. The leaf springs have a little bit of a negative arch. Air shocks have been added to help offset that. Performance exhaust it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I heard the car run when they pulled it out of the garage. It seems decent. Eight and three quarter uh, rear end. Not sure what the ratio is. The trunk support lower. Um, where's my finger? There it is. So coming all along in the rear of the vehicle, a little bit of a, a, a hook on or pull down right there, but nothing, nothing that warrants any obvious heavy collision damage. Gas tank has been undercoated as well, and uh, I don't smell any gas or leaks back here. A little bit of uh, flaking uh, going on. This rail looks like it's in nice shape. Extension looks good there. That doesn't ever look like it's been changed. Some filler work down there. You can see the original quarter panel tabs are still here, so some repair work's been done along the bottom. but it all looks pretty uh, stable. Don't see any active leaking going on underneath the car front or rear. Been sitting here for almost a couple hours. Rear bumper fits the body nicely. Uh, no large creases or uh, dings really to speak of. <clears throat> Gaps look pretty good. Just some general uh, patina and uh, age. Um, on the guards and on the uh, on the uh, center section, a little bit of paint peel on that uh, rear bezel. Original uh, tail lights. We checked the brake lights, turn signals. All that is functioning as as designed. All right, we're getting ready to go off for a ride, and then we'll uh, we'll do a finish up on the rest of the uh, rest of the vehicle. Fourteen inch with uh, P225 uh, 70 BFGs. Tread looks like it's plenty. Uh, caps and rings show just some general age and patina. Uh, wheel paint's in pretty good shape. 
Now most of the trim on the car is original. There's a few uh, pings and dings along the upper belt moldings on both sides. But they look good from a very short distance. And uh, some minor patina as you would expect on the uh, vent windows. All the belt moldings and rubber seals um, are original. All the glass rolls up and down as it should. And uh, generally speaking, the vinyl top is in good driver quality condition. No major cracks in the windshield. The car hasn't run very long today, just long enough to get it out of the garage. Uh, it's showing 113 uh, degrees already. Pavement's at 76, so any freeze is full and green. Oil was clean, and according to the dipstick, a little high, but it could. it's an aftermarket dipstick. It might not be. Go ahead and uh, fire it up. right side. Aftermarket, aftermarket carb and aftermarket Edelbrock a performer intake, aftermarket wires. A little bit of chatter in that right bank. Billet pulleys, stock style radiator. Four support number is present but illegible, it's hard to read. Got a few still photos of it. Aftermarket battery. Fender tag's been painted over a time or two. And very challenging to read that as well. Front frame rails don't appear to have any physical uh, damage. That vacuum can's been dis vacuum can's been disconnected. apron structure looks decent. There's some evidence of some lifting of paint in various locations and a little bit, a little bit of prep work is lacking in uh, some areas. All right, we're going to get on the road. was underneath the car earlier there was evidence of oil leaking down from the valve covers. I think that's where some of it's coming from. I saw the car I saw the car start up cold. A little puff, little puff of oil smoke but then it cleared right up. It's been changed. Should we light the hood? Oh, that would be, a, <laughs> that'd be a pretty good idea. I guess I should have pulled the hood down. Showing the oil pressure, uh, cold oil pressure, about 50 probably. And temperature's coming up to about 160, 165 on the gauge right now. Uh, emergency flashers work. And uh, turn signals work front and rear, brake lights operate, headlight doors go up and down, uh, outside low beams uh, work, and the high beams register on the outside but not on the inside. Uh, two speed wipers work. Car's got an aftermarket tack. Does the horn work? I guess it does. <laughs> <laughs> Everything works. We're going to go out and do some hole shots. <laughs> Jason Phillips from Auto Praise. I'm uh, doing a pre purchase inspection. That works too, the hitch. <laughs> Got a small crack in the uh, bare bezel there. Some little general wear on the interior. Crack in the back of the console. 
somebody's girlfriend was probably sitting there in 1969 oh, yeah, was, or 70, right? Yeah, he was hitting some fucking bush, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Console door works, glove box door works. What's the odometer reading currently? 55. Uh, no, I mean, that's the yes. mileage? Yeah. 78. 678677. Okay, we'll read that when we get back. Looks like we got some stock gauges that are uh, inoperable. That gas gauge works, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I want to see how much gas I have. Thank for thing. All right, we can cruise all day. Oh, yeah. Except you got to get to work, right? Let's see if we're going to smoke today. <laughs> Generally speaking, it's got all original components inside the car, original headliners showing a little wear. Look at that, the lighter works. It works? Yeah. Are you fucking joking me? I mean, it, oh, look yeah. it. Put a circle on your arm to prove it. Kenwood aftermarket uh, speakers in the original package tray. Looks like it might have been repainted uh, at one point. Headliner is surviving pretty good. I didn't notice that the dome light's working. Quarter panel trim's in pretty decent shape. Driver's seat's got a split in it. The back, it's got a little split. It's in the back, yeah. So most everything's working. It appears on the car. I think that I had a my other seat, my F one hundred and fifty. I had a lady fix it. So I was going to take it and fix it. I didn't even have it. Okay. Passing gear works. If you kick it down right now, will it uh, drop shift into second gear automatically? It's a runner, isn't it? <laughs> I was going to change the carburetor. I was going to put a Holly. Yeah? Yeah. I never had the time. Because that's uh, the air wrap they have in there. Yeah. I'm going to turn the uh, fan blower off because the heat's definitely working. The slides are all sliding uh, free. Put a couple miles on the car so far. Just hit the uh, pause button to uh, register a little more uh, time and a little more heat. Right now we're just, just under 180. Let's see if it'll stay there. Would you give it a little? Just a minute, just to see if the car is pulling too much. Nah, not too much. It's too much. Can, uh, I just don't like to let it go by itself. So. Yeah. <laughs> seems to be uh, <laughs> seems to be handling that down the road. Seems to be going pretty straight. Put your jab on the brakes with your hand kind of loose on the wheel right now to see if the wheel's doing anything. Uh, that stops pretty good. Just a little bit of a draw to the right. With those new disc brakes on there, it's it's uh, it didn't pull too bad. I didn't feel it. Uh, it's got a nice little rumble. You know any of the stats on the motor? Huh? You know any of the stats on the motor uh, camshaft or anything? Not really. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dang, that was blurry. We're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> I never, I never, since I had it, I never tried this. Oh, you've never back. done that? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it's the first time you've ever done a little burnout, huh? We're lucky the rain just, uh, the rain quit about two hours ago, so sun came out and roads are starting to dry up. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise uh, finished up a pre-purchase inspection for a long distance buyer uh, getting this video delivered to him the same night that we did the inspection. 
If you need inspection service like this, this video is only available after the car has uh, been reviewed by the owner buying it. But if you need this, 800 301 telling you about is right there. Seats are generally comfortable. I sat in them and uh, the steering wheels in pretty decent shape. Carpet's been changed. Door panels are holding up. Charger emblems match. All right, put on your seatbelt. I'm going to try to drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you had insurance, right? Oh, yeah, I got insurance. <laughs> Yes. I'll drive it just like I drive my grandma's car. <laughs> All right, 150 mile an hour speedometer. No cracks in the windshield. All the windows roll up and down. If I didn't mention it earlier, I forgot to open up the trunk. The pan's pretty solid. Uh, no real restorative effort done in there, and there's no spare and no jack. We opened the trunk. What do we do? Yeah, yeah. I, I just didn't open it on the video. Oh, I might open it when I get back. All right. The steering wheel's at about uh, about one o'clock. The steering wheel could stand to be realigned, but I got my hand off the wheel barely, barely touching it right now. And the car tracks, the car tracks real good, nice and straight. Step on the brakes a little with my uh, hand off the wheel again, and uh, brakes nice as well. Those disc, that disc brakes had them is pretty new, isn't it? Power okay, assist works good. 3500 bucks. Okay. <laughs> Speedometer might be registering a little bit high. It looks like we're, uh, it says we're doing 55 right now. What do you think we're doing? Well, it's probably about 55. Yeah. So that's 45 through here. So. Is this where we're turning here? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. We'll fire the video back up when I get uh, when I get back. But uh, safe to say, it uh, seems to roll down the road pretty good. We're back on, uh, we're not in that 5 o'clock Detroit traffic anymore. 78, 68, 63, 83, uh, yeah. 683, okay. Finishing up a test drive, we're uh, idling at 200 on the, uh, on the gauge and uh, just over 40 pounds of warm oil pressure. So engine's holding up good, engine's running good. So the seats are uh, seats are in decent shape. Uh, they're latching in. The springs have not been rebuilt, and uh, showing a little bit of wear. Dome light is working. The rest of the interior shows nice. All right. Finish up shot of the door jams, door corners. Here's a look in the trunk. Extensions uh, look nice to the floor. Uh, pan don't look like those ever been changed. I don't see any buckles in the uh, tail panel uh, quarter panel seams and wheel tub 
caulk all looks like it's in pretty good original condition. Some lifting and separating there, but there's been some re-splatter work sprayed in here and uh, over a little bit of surface rust, I would suspect. But it's a fairly solid trunk. I think it would restore up with some uh, detail work. No spare and jack. Seal needs to be changed. Uh, the lip, lip of the lid, say that three times fast, lip of the lid uh, is in good shape. Jams might have had some brush work touched up in here and obviously some dabs of paint there. Deck lid closes nice, lines up pretty well. Pitting on some of the trim. A few leaves collecting there. A little bit of shrinkage of this vinyl top. And uh, let's go around the body because I think that's going to be the biggest uh, concern. Potential buyer. That rear panel could stand to be stripped and restored. Looks like it's complete. I did not see the reverse lights come on, by the way. But we got chips in the valance. Um, Body-wise and paint-wise, the car has old paint on it. I went through and magnet tested the body already. And these <clears throat> magnets are encircling what would be the areas. Everything above adheres just fine. Everywhere we stuck a magnet was uh, was good. This has all been repaired, and uh, you can see evidence of the repairs throughout the wheel lips. And there's a lot of that around the car. We've got some uh, paint scratches, uh, chips, 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 chips. Patina on the door handles. All the trim is original, as I remarked earlier. Uh, chips, chips. Bodywork uh, swelling out so that protrudes past that rocker panel a bit. The other side's a little bit worse. Uh, side marker lights are working, by the way. Uh, the exploded view I started on here. This can be freeze framed so that potentially the onlooker can look at what we are discovering and uh, all the detail you see on this side exists on the other side of the car I just haven't had taken time to write it down but safe to say <clears throat> most people would think this car needs repaint and some body restoration if you're looking for a good 20 25 foot cruiser uh, it does fit that bill you know it could probably stay this nice for another you know five ten years maybe but as you get around it, you just see more and more uh, swells and pops in areas like this of concern. And all these repairs up along here were done with some kind of a tape. Uh, and it wasn't uh, finished off and blocked too well. So a little bit of amateur bodywork popping all the way around the, the wheel lips. You can see the repairs down low on the quarter panel seams, or the overlap seams that I pointed out earlier. The doors have a little bit of a drop, a sag, when uh, you open and close them. The bushings have not been redone, so you got bubbling, bubbling all through here. Probably enough said. I don't want to pick on the car too much but at the end of the day it requires some body work and repaint work and some trim repair and uh, you know there you have it it's a good running a good driving car you can see all that a little bit of bubbling under the vinyl top VIN mounted correctly in place XP29H few small hairline scratches in the glass, but uh, actually the grass, glass is in pretty good shape, really. A little bit of overspray on the glass and a little bit of cracking in the seam. A little bit of pitting on the mirror. I would say that probably condition-wise, you would call this a number four car. Uh, I did not uh, decode any correct numbers. I did get a partial picture of the 
block casting date that I'm hoping to be able to blow up when I get on my computer and see if I can see it through the gap in the headers. This trim again up here is kind of power dinged. Okay, so, and I didn't see any cracks in the windshield. The rest of the trim looks like it's in pretty good shape, patina on the gas door. So we have covered the body and the paint and the top and the glass. We've covered the wheels and the tires. They're all in about the same condition. We've covered the engine and trans, underbody, on interior, uh, chrome and trim. And that's about what you get. Pre-purchase inspection from AutoAppraise, AutoAppraise.com, 800-301-3886. Thanks for checking it out. Again, to be clear, this video does not get publicly released until the guy who hired us makes his decision if he's taking the car, if this is what meets his needs. The owner of the vehicle had to split. He works at a restaurant and had to go finish cooking. Left me here alone to... Uh, with a locked car to finish my my video. I don't think he was happy that I needed three hours to inspect a car, but unfortunately that's what it takes to kind of go through them to wrap it all up in a half hour video. Alright, have a great day.